Bowser's Fury felt very much like a do or die time for Bowser. No, he hasn't taken over the castle, sick his son on you, kidnapped Peach and forced her to space, <laughs> um, twice, and no, he isn't forcing her into marriage either. Bowser's always been evil to an extent, but never mind this. He's always had a goal in mind, you know, something to achieve. <laughs> He's never actually just sought destruction. Whoa, 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 what? No motive? No elaborate scheme to snatch the princess? Pure, raw destruction? Wow. It raises the question, why is Bowser acting like this? I can understand the attack on Mario, but attacking his own son as well? That doesn't seem right. Bowser is a lot of things, but he definitely loves and cares for his child. So what's up? What caused Bowser's fury? What if I told you that the cause is what helped you end it? Bowser Jr. is a staple in the Mario series. He is the antagonist of one of the most loved games in the franchise, Super Mario Sunshine. I love Sunshine. I first played it on 3D All-Stars, my first time touching the game. Galaxy 2 is my personal favorite Mario game, 3D Mario game, Mario game in period. But that's just my own preference. Little Koopa feels he has a lot to live up to, impressing his father. He's known to stir up a lot of trouble because of this. So, I want you to imagine this mini turtle creature being the sole reason why Bowser... <laughs> why Bowser is, is in a fury. <laughs> I, I really need a, need a different choice of words. Um, there's evidence against him that suggests he used some sort of substance on his father. Let's bring it out. So to start things off, Bowser Jr. is known for the giant paintbrush he wields. This paintbrush happened to be the main obstacle of Mario Sunshine, being the cause of Mario getting arrested and many of the trials we had to go under. In the start of Bowser's Fury, Mario falls down into Lake Lapcat and encounters Bowser Jr., who is desperately looking for help. He explains to Mario that his dad is on a rampage and he can't change him by himself. I find this whole scene very interesting. I would like to point out the painting of Bowser and Junior's brush. When we first see Junior, his brush has black paint on it, resembling the substance eating away at Lapcat and corrupting Bowser. When he paints with the substance on the canvas, ominous dark smoke starts appearing off of it. It's very strange the game took time to show us this, and even shows Junior revert back to his usual painting colors on his paintbrush when he goes to help us. What was Bowser Jr. doing? Why was it black before we fell and seen him? What was he doing? What was happening? Bowser Jr. creates a fake Mario and frames Mario for crimes he committed in Isle Delfino. In Bowser's Fury, the first boss you encounter is a Luigi-like figure using the same substance of the bee paint for power. I couldn't help but notice the similarities between fake Mario and fake Luigi. Was Bowser Jr. setting up some kind of attack on Mario that was going to boost the strength of, of his father in the Koopa army? With multiple fake Mario Bros as well? I mean, there was a lot of that black paint. Like, it covered basically all of Lapcat. It, we had to get rid of it with the um, the shines, the cat shines. It, I just found that really strange. <sighs> Did he try this new paint? first on his father because there was a lot of um troops on um lapcat you know there was the goombas the the koopas um hammer bros were there you know they were there they, there was a lot there did he try it on his father first and it turned out that his dad just lost control over it it was some kind of it triggered something and before he could take it away it was too late it took over it really makes you wonder so yeah, I think the um, whole conversation about this is really interesting on Bowser causing Bowser's Fury or uh, <laughs> Bowser Jr. causing Bowser's Fury, not Bowser. 
and I just thought it was really interesting with the black paint and um, I wanted to bring up a few counterclaims uh, one being when he had the black paint on his brush maybe he was just gearing up to paint black on the canvas but like I said the canvas was ominous it had smoke on it so that was a little weird so I was just wondering about that and another counterclaim that I could also see is um, the similarity between Luigi, fake Luigi and uh, fake Mario Fake Mario had a different color tone, and my argument for that is he found some kind of new substance to paint with. That's why you don't see him using sunshine. That's why they're different colors, but the same, the same style. You know, the red eyes, the gooey-like bodies. It's the same style, and I, I just think, I just think a lot of it points towards Bowser Jr. being the person that caused it. You know, with all the Troopas being there, all the the Koopa Army being there, and it's just a really interesting, um, really interesting topic, but I haven't really made a video like this. This is really new to me, so I'm, I'm happy that I can uh, make some different content. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe. It really helps out. Ring that notification bell, and if you guys want more of this, uh, just tell me. I would definitely, I definitely would love this to be a theory channel. I've always loved making theories, but I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.